The Elms user interface has four main regions associated to it. There's the left hand, the top, the right, which is currently not visible, and the bottom. Bottom navigation is for standardization of pl the placement of you know, next, previous, uh, we have bookmarks, printing, as well as the ability to scale the interface. Uh, this is mostly for interacting with the page, as you see it, just at a high level. This is also much more accessible and it leads to better user experience because you don't have to move your pointer as you're going through the content of our course here. The left-hand side is only visible to people with permission to view it. Uh, so this is instructional designers, administration, uh, instructors, and they'll each see varying levels of this. So right now, because we're still in development of this, I see a lot of options. What will most likely be the case is there will be about seven options seen over here. Uh, you don't need to open this menu because if you mouse over these, you'll see it says what it is. So over time, I would hope that you don't have to actually open the menu to interact with it. So you can see some of the common ones for instructional designers would be uh, there's the page level operations, which we have viewing content, not open. view content, we have an accessibility check. You can edit this content, you can view the revisions, devil is something only developers see. Uh, you can then view the status of the course. The ID toolkit will be here. The content outline is the outline designer uh, and you can change the theme. So. At the moment, those are the primary settings that instructional designers will see. Uh, the top left corner, you'll see very consistent placement and navigation and breadcrumb trail. So this is to give you context as to where you are. Um, in a world where this system is deployed multiple places, that's where the name of this system actually becomes important. So we have online at Arts and Architecture. So I know I'm taking a course in Arts and Architecture. Then what course am I in? Well, right now I'm in the Elms tutorial. Then I'm in the content of the Elms tutorial. Then I'm in the orientation, and now I'm on the terminology page. And you'll see if I click around here that this path is reflective of where I am in the material at that time. So by going to developer, Elms API, and then notification bar, you'll see I get the full trail down. So I can navigate backwards through this method as well. We primarily you have the pagination though at the bottom. So this is mostly for context. Uh, in the top right corner, there's this collapsible menu. And you'll see it has your name, whoever's logged in, or if you're masquerading as someone, it would show their information, as well as a picture if you chose to upload it. So there's the ability to view your profile, which currently isn't used in any major way. Um, you can see a list of your courses, uh, if you've bookmarked anything, this will take you to all your bookmarks, as well as seeing a list of the applications in this in the system and the ability to log out. The contact help desk button will most likely be removed from the interface. As far as the actual standardization of the course interface goes, uh, we have the course outline, which will always be displayed, and you'll have your site outline. And then underneath that is course resources. And this is where things like the instructional design best practices are implemented. This is where um, future functionality can be hooked in. If you're a Drupal developer, this is through the use of features. If you're an instructional designer, this is where different items that you activate in your instructional design toolkit will show up, which we'll talk about in a later lesson.